fish grab calling ritual now. I'm gonna do it back. <laughs> Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Playing Magic the Gathering Arena, as always, with a new Abzan Graveyard Recursion deck focused around the Soul Sisters. We've been bringing things back. The <laughs> Soul Sisters is the Spirit Sisters, but Soul Sister, Soul Sister. That's all I have in my head while I'm playing this deck because that's how much fun it is, right? It's a very similar vibe. In today's video, we'll break down the deck list, talk about the strategies, the synergies that are included within it, and then demonstrate all this with our in our gameplay footage, wrapping up with our final thoughts and deck review. So be a darling, leave a thumbs up on the video, and let's take a look at the build. Soul sister, soul sister. Anywho, Wolf, uh, and here we have our spirit sister's call for five mana as an enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, choose target permanent card in your graveyard. You may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with the chosen card uh, that you're sacrificing, of course. And then if you do, return the chosen card from your graveyard to the battlefield and it gains. If this permanent would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. So, you know, once you bring things back from the graveyard and something happens to it, it's going to go into exile. You can't just infinity loop. However, that would be fantastic if it were an option. That's what we're building around here. And of course, you know, pushing things into our grave through some forms of mill. Uh, which is really nice and then really utilizing uh, a massive amount of mid-range ramp in the deck as well running away from our opponent quite easily through things like the cultivator colossus as as an you know top end uh you know early on we have the uh the azusa's mini journey here as well so breaking down all these cards in a second more in depth just to give you a quick preview of what the deck is working with it's a standard best of one, uh, 14 creature, 22 non-creature, 3.8 average mana value, right? So very heavy on the scale. And then we do, of course, have the 24 lands uh, in here as well. The land total is increased to 26 through the Flora Hadron, which is quite nice. And there are a few other forms of ramp in the deck as well. First and foremost, um, Azusa's Many Journeys. You may play an additional land on this turn. This is fantastic, you know, just squeeze an extra land in. And then as it transforms into the Life Seeker, we can untap three lands when it becomes blocked, uh, which is quite nice as well. So this is all going to provide us additional value on a few of our turns, which is quite nice. And then we can also ramp through the Rutstein. Um, if we mill a land card, we get to create a treasure uh, artifact. So we can sap sacrifice this for a mana of any color, which is really quite nice. So, you know, some ramp there potentially as well. Of course, you know, if you mill a creature, you get a creature. If you mill um, uh, instant or sorcery, you get a blood token, something like this, right? Non-creature, non-land. Uh, moving on, we do have the Binding of the Old Gods. This is going to help us find a forest card. Uh, it comes in tapped. Calling Ritual is not only a field wipe, but will also generate mana equal to the number of permanents. Uh, that we've destroyed this way, which is really cool as well. And then Ren and Seven's plus ability can grab a bunch of lands into our hand. And then finally, the Cultivator Colossus, uh, when it enters play, we can play an additional land and then draw a card and repeat this process until we choose to or run out of lands, uh, which is literally the craziest thing uh, you can do in a game. Like, I, I've played five, six lands in a match uh, in one turn with the Colossus, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and it is things like Ren and Seven's plus ability that really does help that out uh, in the long run, right? If you can get both of those cards out, uh, you're going to run away with it. Uh, of course, you know, it's it's not enough just to be ramping, right? We have to be utilizing this mana on something. Uh, of course, you know, there is the Colossus where its power and toughness are equal to the number of lands we control with Trample, which is going to be a big booty uh, as a part of our ramp. And we also have Ren and Seven can make the Tree Folk power and toughness equal to the number of lands we control. The same thing here, right? So we're... Uh, ramping out and then our power and toughness of some of our bigger creatures are equal to the number of lands we control so that's why uh, we are so concerned about playing so many lands uh, within the deck not only to play multiple cards per turn but to make those creatures quite large um, preferably uh, we can play them organically and then recast them from the grave however uh, we do have a little bit of mill in the deck as well uh, to jumpstart this whole journey, which is quite nice because we can ramp into the Spirit Sisters call, right? Uh, we can play two lands on turn two, and then on turn three, we can ramp again. Here comes the call on four. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy with 
very uh, little difficulty uh, to wrap into the Spirit Sisters call. And then if we happened to have milled something, right? Like maybe uh, we had a Sprout out on turn one, it milled uh, a Cultivator Colossus, and then, you know, as the Spirit Sister call comes out, or the Rutstein, whatever it happens to be, boom, there's the Sacrifice, uh, and we're, we're off to the races, right? The same thing goes with the many journeys. You can sacrifice this if they happen to have something or the removal, right? Grab that binding. It's an enchantment, so they match, uh, which is really cool here. So um, the mill, the sprout, 1-1 one, one at the beginning of your upkeep mill card. Then if there are three or more cards in your graveyard, transform it. It becomes a 3-3, three, three, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you may exile a card from your graveyard. If it was a creature card, exile this way. Put a plus one, plus one counter on the Hulk. Basically, only exiling other copies of the sprout with the sprout or the florahedron. Uh, unless it is copies of a legendary like Rutstein, but make sure that you leave yourself one Rutstein and uh, that's that, right? So those are the only cards you're really uh, taking care of with the Hulk. But again, it's in here for the turn one mill that doubles as a bigger creature later on. We can also mill through Rutstein when it enters the battlefield and at the beginning of our upkeeps mill card. Uh, and then again, if it was a land, create a treasure. If it was a creature, make a 1-1 one, one insect. If it was a non-creature, non-land, create a blood token. Uh, so this is going to be a, a really good way to mill through our deck as well. And then Renin 7 has the plus ability, grabbing us lands into our hand, which is A, good for us as we are playing the Cultivator. We want lots of lands in our hand to play on top of it. It's also B, good, because now we're milling ourselves, putting you know some of these goodies, these creatures, these uh, enchantments into the grave uh, so we can pull them back out with the Sister's Call, which is really quite nice, right? So you know that's kind of what we have going on for the mill in the deck. We also have Recursion, not only through the Spirit Sisters Call, but the Dryad's Revival. And if we happen to accidentally mill a copy of the Sisters Call, you can pull it back with the Revival. Even if you do mill the Revival, it has flashbacks, so you'll always have access to um, pulling something back from the grave, whether it's the Call if you accidentally mill it, or maybe you just need uh, an answer for the current field state. Like, uh, pulling back Calling Ritual is not uncommon either, right? So it's not always the Sisters Call. Sometimes you can get other things. Um, typically... You can grab the Sister's Call, though, and then use the ability um, to grab something else, whether it's a creature or enchantment. It really is just kind of Calling Ritual that you can't get your hands on, as well as Ren and Seven. Um, so Ren and Seven, Calling Ritual, Spirit Sister's Call, being pulled with Dryad's Revival, probably nothing else. But again, each matchup varies quite a bit. Do, 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 do. That's literally the whole deck. Um, Ren and Seven's minus eight ability can return our graveyard to our hand no maximum hand size this is fantastic if you get there um because we are milling fairly aggressively uh but at the end of the day you should just be able to smash through your opponent's defense um by the recursion of the colossus like even if they're dealing with it it's going to come back over and over again which is pretty goofy the same thing goes with the chariot um you know we have the chariot here creating the two cats uh it can be sacrificed and another brought back in over and over again because the legendary rule until you run out of them because each of them are now allowed to be played twice because the sisters will excel on that second play but this is a lot of cats and we also have you know the tree folk token that we can copy here as well uh really easily which is nice um so a lot of value here uh just within that in and itself as well we can with the chariot copy the insect we can copy the blood token we can copy the treasure as well which is um some value i suppose we have the Abandoned Mire. This can bring back Ren and Seven from the Grave, which is really nice. Who endures, you know, just as that Balancing Stone. Uh, some Arctic Tree Lines for Binding of the Old Gods. And, you know, just some regular land here for consistency's sake. That's the deck, you guys. We're having a ton of fun with this. We have a nice win rate. Um, and, a you know, a deck that I have been working on. I think this is the second iteration of the build. Um, but still something that's probably lesser known in the meta and, you know, exceptionally fun to play. So if you're kind of bored, you're bummed out, you're waiting for new cards, just looking to have fun without playing Mono White in the ranked queue, well, I got you covered and this is going to be it. Uh, also known as Deck Diggler. This is kind of what we call the deck uh, as its code name. But with this being said, that's the Deck Tech portion of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like the YouTube video, comment, subscribe. Share the channel to your friends, your families this lovely Easter weekend. And uh, stay safe out there, of course. You can even become a YouTube member to help support. And um, more importantly, enjoy today's gameplay. Right. The draw. Ramping is nice. Two. Game. Let's roll, baby. I like the mini journeys. That's pretty cool.
Double land on two. Basically double land on three on the mana ramp. Not a big fan of this uh, Kitilda. Very good. They're gonna bounce the Hadron, yeah. Expected as much. Snapped it, right? Now I'm almost certain that this uh, token here will be bounced and then Ren will die flying, but we still have to do our best. I've planned. They just paid life for that. Raven's warning. Interesting. Link two mana here for an inspired insight. Interesting. Let's immediately just take the plus. We will find safe ground. We have a tapped land. But that can come in with the cultivator. We have nothing great in the graveyard. Take the hit. Ren will die, but it's okay. They need to field wipe. And I almost think that it will happen. We did not choose this fight. They've seen our hand. Right through Raven's warning. Monk class. Potentially bounce if it gets leveled up. Okay, they're going all out. Wow. But we need uh, to wipe two or less. Right, there's a lot of goodies here for two or less. Cultivator. Land out. You know, more value for next turn. Beautiful. Still in a you know, pretty rough spot here, I think, but um, we are getting towards a calling ritual at least, right? Grab Ren and Seven back. Push that back into play. I mean, Sister's Call, obviously, we'd like to grab also. This must be a turn spell, right, in all rounds Epiphany, which we should be incredibly careful about. Or has that been banned? I think maybe it was actually banned, finally. Big hit, down to 12, don't appreciate it. And now here's a field wipe. Yeah, okay. And then they're going to put Katilda on the token. Harriet is a go. Rotstein, I believe, is a go as well.
And then this turn, grab back. Really should grab the sister. But Ren and Seven is going to be the only thing to block Katilda. Right? So, yes, we want to do the other playline, but should focus on this instead. We have a treasure. We have a land. We have two blood tokens. They just go all out for a Seagate. That's incredible. Taking the turn off, basically. We have to assume they've found another Doom Scar. Woof. Take our turn. Plus, find a bunch of land. Find a single land. Womp, womp, womp. We should have actually made the token. Chariot, my bad. Right up the tree folk. We'll do it later. If it all survives, I doubt it though. We can just go ahead and do this now, right? Oh, but this is going to attack next turn for a bunch. I'm not thinking. I was thinking we had a spare turn. Oops. My bad. I was being greedy. I was like, well, let's just draw like 50 land for the cultivator, but not what happened. Probably just die. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least. And they're going to have four to five excess mana still. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get hit for eight. Negative, there's a borrow time on the chariot. Take the Colossus. Now, this is an interesting bank. Oh, they have another Katilda. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> okay. We have no other choice or we're just dead. Bad. We have to mine us. The entire forest is in awe. What am I doing? What am I doing, Randy? We're still kind of screwed, but it's a help. It it helps. It's not bad. I bet we're ready for another Doom Scar, so don't be too crazy about all this. We need that uh, sister's call back. And then we can... Oh no, flying. But the two 12-12s though. As long as they don't have exile or removal. This is going to make it like a 30-30 though. 
shit. Freaking tough. And they can bounce this because it's a token. Oh man, we're getting owned here. Nice. We did misplay a couple times, but... They still did really good against us. This is why the play queue I, I like. You know, this is the types of stuff you're not going to see anywhere else. That's a good game. Oh no, these have summoning sickness. Not quite good. We're still screwed though. Right, we're still super screwed. Do I have to grab calling ritual now? Remember that time they hello good gamed us? I'm gonna do it back. <laughs> We're gonna kill our hollowed haunting. Land. Oh, here's a Colossus. We play the land on top. Let's take the hit. Take our binding. Now how's that for a comeback? Holy Toledo's. <laughs> they were certain they had won. Nice. Freaking got him, chat. Freaking got him. That was pristine. You know, they've been massive board state. It's apparent that they've won. They send out the hello good game and then boom, full reversal. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. Want to go first. That's fine. We have single target. We have field wipe. We have the shivers. Arr. We also now have the fourth land. Um, I think it's nice and slow. Nothing to play really. We have a double wipe, which is nice. Double red and sevens. So we can play loose with her as well. I'm sure they can self-sacrifice though, right? So it's not going to be a, an ordeal at all. Nice and slow. Snowlands as well, so most likely blood on the snow at some point. Predator. Ooh, 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 indestructible. Well, this is not great. We get a land this way with coloring ritual. We're not really getting anything.
doesn't matter either. Hopefully there's no creature here. Three cards in hand. Oh, it's a big one too. This big daddy G. Ouch. We're still just dying. Like if they have removal, we're dead. If they have another dragon, we're dead. They sack it. It's fine. They're already tapped, so it doesn't go to six. We're down to three. We ran in seven in front of the predator. But then, oh my lord. Have mercy. <laughs> it dragoned, baby. Let's go. Alright, well, if you're not going to take it, I'm just going to leave. Then. You're like, I've got, I've got a frostbite too, you know. <laughs> Opponent goes first. They're cheating. They have to be. Anyone who goes first is obviously cheating. Um... Without doubt, right? So you know that this is why you guys lose matches. It's because your opponents sometimes cheat. <laughs> I shouldn't promote Bombfoolery. I really like this as a turn two. Uh, especially in this matchup, since they're going to be draining us of our life total. Rutstein guaranteed, but I would love just... To Finding that uh, that anvil there. I would also love um, calling ritual, right? Mm -hmm. I growl when we miss a land drop. Well, we kind of actually make up for it there. I'm actually going to pass turn here. Keep that treasure there because I definitely want it. I don't want to just spend it on a one drop. Let's guarantee a four or five drop next turn. Ooh, really in here. I mean, they're just making the treasure. I doubt they deal two damage. Everything with a meat hook for two. This is unlikely. I mean, sure, go for it. What you doing, Willis? Mm, I mean, they could have done it for four anyways. Right, they could even discard or like, you know, we're not safe there. <laughs> you know where we are, though. I'm just gonna do it. Fuck them. Friggin' got him, Randy. Land out. Not really doing anything this turn. Graveyard Trespasser is actually really good against our deck. I don't know if they know this, but uh, not great. No blocks here. We lose the ritual. We have to most likely discard to deal with this trespasser. We're not out of the woods yet. I know this much.
I'm going to toss the revival because we retain access to it. Yes, we are at risk because they have obviously some form of grave control, at least within the trespasser, so. Mm -hmm. it's, it's risky biscuits, but what are the chances that they immediately have another? Unlikely. They self sacrifice the anvil, wow. Old move, Cod. Oh, they want the creature that's not a scorpion. Okay. I mean, that's alright. We can get behind that, right? It's not the worst, and now we have that fifth land. Tax and turn. Look at our grave. We have a binding. No enchantment to sacrifice, though, other than this binding, which will be fizzled by then. We might even just revival on the binding. But they're going to kill their own scorpion here. Resets the field. Right. And gain some life and take some damage. Damage. I'm touching on creatures, you know, that's irrelevant. Let's just, uh, you know, we folk out. We have the chariot out, so. Green means go. It could have a removal for one. I don't know what it would be. A march with a discard, right? Which would still only hit for two. That's actually not it. But. Two five fives in play. That feels fine. We can Sisters Call and then next turn many journeys, sack journeys for the binding. Transfer on the Scorpion. Which isn't that bad. They're maintaining a nice life total. They want to deal with the chariot. We're down to 14. where we get. I mean, guaranteed they block the chariot. Hmm, no, I have to save that. Oh, what? Let's just play it here. I'm gonna chill out. Like I wish. But we can get, uh, you know, that binding next turn with the journeys. And then that next binding can pull us into the other binding and we'll just kind of binding off while we hit with these six sixes. So now they're stuck between, okay, do I deal with the Dryad's Revival or do I deal with the spi Sisters Spirit Call? The Spisters, that's what it should be called. Or, you know, the Field of Six Sixes. Really cycling these quite effectively. And we're down to 12, actually, believe it or not. Still slam. Using one of them.
Actually, I'm going to decline that. I want the three life. There's nothing to remove other than the hook anyways. And guaranteed they just are sitting on another. So it's like, you know, it can stay there. We can sacrifice it later. You know, it's still an enchantment as it transforms next turn into a creature. No harm, no foul. They will not stop with this friggin' stinger. So here's the life. We appreciate that. Let's swing. It double binding. Double binding is pretty cool here. <laughs> pretty BM for sure. Beep. 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 That's not fair. One spisters. I'm just going to keep calling it that. One spirit sisters call uh, and two bindings. That's a pretty good turn. Whoops. Let's play a land there. My bad. Do not I'm gonna take the mill. Get another binding, which is hysterical, let's be honest. Grab a, another land in untapped. Stack the binding. Grab a binding. Play the stinger with it. Pass. We're straight chilling. Harvester has summoning sickness. Need a cultivator. They're still all four in deck. That's kind of crazy. We will help you find safe craft. Grab the chariot back, I guess. Swing, they have to block. Our boy Rutstein in play. And now we have three sisters call. What? Could go wrong. There's no access to farewell. As I think of things that could go wrong. <laughs> I 
they're just searching um, for an answer, I suppose. Acceptable. I'm just looking for a cultivator. That's so hard to get. Play land. Interesting. The meat hook for four. That's the job done, right? Really? Carry it out. What, 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 what? Be greedy and go for a minus ability. So let's actually leave that there. And turn. Grab a creature back. That's it. I suppose we should be taking lands. Just feeding them life. Should have declined one of those. <laughs> or slayed the hook. Whatever. It's fine. It's just fine. I want a minus eight is the thing. Let me minus eight. Come on. And where are all the cultivators? All four cultivators in the minus uh, or the bottom 20% uh, of our deck, which is pretty funny. Good game. They didn't get to see the cultivator. I mean, we still had full control, basically. Going first, uh, not really ever bad. Hashtag, are we cheating? I'd like to pull an untapped land and that Florahedron out. Don't know. We'll get lucky. We don't get lucky. So now we're trying to, again, top deck a land so we can double land. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, that's a good card. At least we get it. Free life here doesn't hurt either. And now, worst case scenario, it's a chariot. I think, really, that's only case scenario in our next turn here. I won't be playing Sister's Call on an empty field with no enchantments in the grave yet. Gain three life. We do get that fifth land, which is nice. There's a chariot. We can cycle chariots thanks to our Sister's Call. And the legendary rule. For a little bit, right? Because when the Poppy comes back and dies, it goes to exile, but we'll get a play of them each organically and then a play of them each from the grave. It's a lot of creatures though, we really want a calling ritual. Little do they know we have a replacement chariot. No, oh, I hit they hit the chariot for Oh they set okay. Nice. It's like there's no way they hit it for four on one mana, but they do. Dirty dog. Dirty dog.
Yes, sir, have another. Let's swing for four and at least make it a race. In turn, call out, sack the chariot for the other chariot. We're doing really good on two land, as red decks are meant to. Kitties. That's a couple kitties. Meow. That's a lot of fluff. That's a lot of fluff. <laughs> uh, I, I think they probably didn't get a land here and weren't too happy with the way things were turning out. On the draw. What? That's not fair. We'll play one of these Hadrons in tapped, then the other is a creature. Oof. Ever skull smashing. Yikes. Is it deck? Moldering egg. Yikes. This has gone south immediately. Don't need a ton of black, just a little bit. Two revivals in hand to open up the game is not great. Probably just snag the egg while they're tapped, right? I mean, Rutstein, yeah, that's what we want to do, but just take the egg. They play a blue source to protect it. The fading hope, but still take the egg. Oh, they kill the Hadron here, and then we can't draw. Okay, then we are back to the Rutstein. Good for you. Good for you. So we make the treasure here. We do. Calling ritual is up as well. So we have a couple different uh, options. Depending on what happens. There could be a second egg. Right? Don't you dare touch my Rutstein, you. Look at this guy, just leave him alone. You don't want to go close. Like, if this guy comes up to you in the alley, just walk the other way. Walk the other way, kids. Oh, are they really going to flip this on me? There's a counter spell. I'm going to freak out. Nice. Still have to deal with this freaking dragon, yo. But. But. We're getting there at least. Oh, we need to top deck a land, that is. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Top deck a land. Top deck a land. Yes! We did it! No counterspell, no counterspell, no counterspell. If they had one, they would have used it before. Unless they just drew it. This also doesn't target, it's an enchantment, not a spell. There's no treasure made. Beautiful. Would you stop it? That's not funny. It's not funny, man. Egg, gold span, gold span. Just stop.
Just stop it. You might counter this. Or like, well, I'll just counter the binding instead. We're doing stuff, but it's just like holy Polito's. Oh, into a memory deluge. Nice. Not only do they have all the good cards, but they are laying them down. Crazy good. Watch there be a third gold spin here. <laughs> okay, just settle down. That's actually too much nice really cool bro just dead. we're just dead who does that three goldsman dragons back to back Wow. I mean, two was kind of funny, but three? I just don't think there's many things that do beat that. That's kind of so goofy, right? Oh, myself. That's so goofy. Dragon, dragon, dragon. Wow. Outro time! So, trying to be better at life recently, some announcements. We're going to start doing announcements at the end of the video. First up, the tournaments are back on our previous tournament. Um, boss, I guess that's what you want to call them. Uh, they got tired, right? The raid boss was defeated. Oddfall, thank you all so much for the support on the channel. I appreciate you, bro. I hope things are well. If you're still around, uh, obviously, I know life gets busy. You have family, get kids, move on from magic, things like this. Maybe you'll be back in the future. But massive shout out to Oddfall, first of all, for running the tournament scene for so long. But we've got some, uh, some new helpers stepping up to the plate, trying to uh, breathe some life back into the Hello Good Game tournaments available on Melee. Uh, again, more information on this within the Discord. Uh, we have a fairly active community right now, which is cool. So we're going to take the steps required to help build it as a community. There's some cash prizes, which is pretty brutal because revenue has been down. But uh, it is what it is. You know, if I can provide a place where you guys are enjoying your time and hanging out and having fun, uh, that's going to be the best. And a lot of the times we're doing less competitive formats, you know, artisan, brawl, um, because there are lots of those other tournaments already out there for everyone. So check out Melee for not only my tournaments, if you search Hello Good Game, I'm, I'm sure you'll find those, but everybody else's as well. There's a lot going on there this Easter weekend, of course. So, that is news number one. News number two, the deck friggin' slaps, but you already knew this, right? How can we change it? Well, I don't really know it needs to be changed. I love the many journeys. The fact that it makes an enchantment and ramps us is really good. There are potentially other routes we can go. There's the enchantment that mills, but I don't know if we were lacking mill. Was there many points in which we're like oh well we have sister's call but it does nothing right like it's kind of just like okay we'll play the binding play the rut scene play the chariot they're gonna interact or we're removing something and then start the engine right so i don't necessarily know if we needed uh and again i could pull it up it's it creates it mills you create a one one um and e chant oh my gosh my spelling is atrocious Anywho, um, da, 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 Enchantment mill. It'll come up. It was the teachings of the Kirin. You know, mill cards, make a token, counters on something. This is great. It's not ramping us. And we already have a decent amount of mill. I feel like Rutstein gets the job done. The Sprout gets the job done. Renan 7 gets the job done, right? So I, I don't like to overdo it. However, um, you know, this, this is an option as well. If you've not seen the uh, variant with that other card... You know, I can probably link that in the comments below if you're curious. Other big news, it's almost three freaking years on YouTube. Three years 
creating magic content. What have I done with my life? Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> for reals. But what this does mean is some exciting times. We're going to have a, a celebration of sorts on YouTube. And, um, you know, we've got some big things planned. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, trying to generate, again, some revenue for the channel as it's been slower. But through some cool and exciting ways. And we're going to develop this in the upcoming week. But we're talking about shaving the beard shaving the head, you know, just increasing the time that I am on stream, right? Can you get me to stay awake for, you know, 24 plus hours? Will I fall asleep? Who knows? All of these things uh, will be tiered out based on the level of support we get, I think. Uh, we're probably going to be building this, like I say, in the coming weeks for the celebration, which I believe officially is on the 24th, but maybe we'll get it uh, on the weekend uh, as well. I don't really know when that date uh, happens to fall on this year's calendar, but three years, magic content, holy Toledo's, uh, super grateful. Wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, more news during our outros in the, in the channel's future. So uh, again, if you have any idea uh, on ways we can improve the channel, right? Uh, don't hold back. Obviously, you guys are my feedback loop. And again, I really appreciate this as well. So I hope you all have a magical day. Thank you so much. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon in the next.